Okay, today's tutorial is going to be on the WOW slider. It's a jQuery slider. If you've installed it already, you just go to Start WOW slider. Let's center this here a little bit. All we're going to do is drag and drop our images um, from a folder, or if you had a folder full of uh, images, you just drag and drop them over here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drag over my first one. Here's my first one. It says, uh, oh, the title of it is uh, MySQL logo. And we're going to put in a description. This is for databases. And I'm going to put in a URL. So if I click on that image in the slider, where would I go? And it would go to mysql.com. And I do want it to open up in a new window, so I select blank. If I want it to open in the same window, self or parent will work, but a new window will be blank. Now I'm going to drag and drop my second one. This is our CSS3. I highlight it. What is this called? CSS3 logo. And this is for the new HTML5 standards, and that's the styling for that. And you can see how much typing you can fit in here. You don't want to get it too long. You'll see what I mean when we look at the, uh, the slider. If somebody were to click on that image, where would we want that to go? And I'd say, well, maybe CSS3.org. How about that? I'll have it open in the same window, so I say self, and let's just do one last one. Open cart, click on it to highlight it, go here, and we'll say this is open cart logo. And the description for this is that this is an e-commerce software, and it's PHP based, and it's free. So if they were to click on this image, where would it take them? And notice I have to put the HTTP in front of it. Open, oops, another W there, uh, opencart.com. And I do want that to open up in a separate window, which is preferable. If you're going to an external site, you do want it to open up in a new window. That's really it. We say publish. Uh, and in this case, I do want it to go into this My Slider folder on my desktop. So I'm going to go to my desktop, and I'm going to look for this folder, and I'm going to select folder, and let me just go in here and empty it out. I did do this before, so I just want to make sure it's empty, so it's empty there. There we go. Uh, so I'm just going to hit, um, if I want to change it to any other folders, I could do that here like you just saw. I could also publish it to an FTP server. I just put in my username and login. Not going to do that. Uh, or if I wanted to insert this into an HTML page that I had, Perhaps I had it in my Dreamweaver, and I wanted to insert that slider before some text, or Joomla, or WordPress. And both of these are uh, open source PHP-based software. Joomla is more for article writing, content management system. WordPress is more for blog software, although it's very, very much turned into a content management system as well as an e-commerce uh, solution. So, publish to folder. It's going to go my slider over here. I hit publish very very fast it's done there you go now of course this looks kind of funny and why is that that's because I just threw some images in here without even thinking about what the sizes were when I set this up in the my wow slider I said different sizes that I could set this for and uh, just like any other software you know if you go into properties you can select what you what sizes you want these to be so if I had said 960 by 330 my images should be this size. If I want it to be smaller, then it should be 320 by 240. And also while I'm here, let me just show you all the, the various choices that you have. Uh, the transition effect can be uh, basic, thick, basic, linear. It gives you a nice little preview of what that would look like. If you want it to be the famous fade that everybody seems to want, you can also change the time on these as well, right? And we can make this into slices. And again, we can like really slow these things down, so forth. And there's different styles too. So if we look at here, watch this little screen here. It can look like this, and we can change them. Just notice how the dots and the arrows are different here, so forth, and like that. So you can kind of pick your style here, your size, and set that all. So I had picked uh, this was a basic size, and this is what we got. So uh, let's say you want to implement that. So really you built it, there it is. We can close the WOW slider. Uh, we don't want to save it, but here it is. So if I were to send this to somebody, I would just go to my slider, 
and these are my files. So if I wanted to, I could just do something like, uh, let's uh, send this to compress folder, zip it up, there it is, and you can email that to somebody, and that's all you have to do. Just to show you what these files are, uh, this is your index file, it's the same thing as this file right here. So if I were to close this, double click it, it's the same thing, there's my slider. And notice how there's two images here. One is the thumbnail, and one is the bigger one. So when you're doing these images, make sure that they're the right size for what you put into the slider, which you drag and dropped. Um, and then the system will also shrink down the thumbnail size here for the smaller one. So where you find these, the index is this one. The engine, don't really ever mess with this because this is where all your uh, your little styles are for the slider itself, like these little arrows, these little dots and things like this. More has to do with the styling and the engine, so to speak. But the data is here. This is where your images are. So the larger images are under images. And those little smaller ones, you know, the ones up here, are these little smaller ones here. So if you ever wanted to redo this and just swap out an image or two, you don't have to recreate the whole thing. You could just swap out the images here, just make sure they're the same name. So that's really about it. That's all I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed it, and thank you so much. Have a great day.